Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and we have some unfortunate news coming out of the Senate right now. One of the Republican senators has been rushed to the hospital for facial numbness. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So Alabama Senator Katie Britt, one of the youngest women, one of the youngest people in Congress, the youngest Republican woman ever elected to the Senate, was rushed to the hospital this weekend for facial numbness. She just released a statement about what's going on, and I'm going to read it to you now. She says in her message, while with my family in Montgomery this past weekend, I experienced a sudden onset of numbness in my face. I was admitted to Baptist Medical Center South for evaluation. Doctors determined that my symptoms were a result of swelling of a facial nerve, most likely caused by a post-viral infection. A specialist from UAB, which is the University of Alabama at Birmingham, has subsequently evaluated me on an outpatient basis and concurred with the prognosis and course of my treatment. My condition is not life-threatening and recovery could take several weeks. I am grateful for the medical professionals providing excellent care and my family and I are deeply grateful for your prayers. And let's take a look at this report from her local news. In a statement, he said, it is even more disturbing that the selection is going to the community that ranked fifth in the selection process. Well, Senator Katie Britt is recovering after a medical scare in Montgomery. She says over the weekend, she suddenly experienced numbness in her face. Senator Britt says she was taken to Baptist Medical Center for an evaluation. In a statement, she says, her medical team says her symptoms are a result of facial nerve swelling, most likely caused by a viral infection. She says although the condition is not life-threatening, it could take her several weeks to recover. Well, we are learning more promising news about the progress of Senator Tim Melton. Obviously, with what happened with Mitch McConnell this week, and you have on the Democrat side, Dianne Feinstein, and you have, you know, John Fetterman, health is a big issue right now for the Senate. You know, the majority for the Democrats is very fragile. Everything's very fragile. And all we're, all we're praying for is the health and well-being of everybody involved, especially for this senator, for Mitch McConnell, for Dianne Feinstein, for John Fetterman, for everybody involved. No matter what your politics, I think we can all pray that these people have speedy recoveries and get better and, and live happy lives. You know, that's, that's what this is all about. So we send our absolute prayers to Senator Britt and get back to the Senate as soon as you can. Fortunately, they are on recess till after Labor Day, so that may give her enough time to be back in when Senate comes back in, and that would be great to see. Folks, I want your comments on this story, so please leave them. Also remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.